While Costa Rica only accounts for 34 thousandths of a percent of the Earth's surface, it is home to nearly 6% of the world's biodiversity. This includes a variety of birds and mammals such as the scarlet macaw, the three-toed sloth, the white-lipped peccary, and the agouti. Its naturally vegetated landscape and abundant water sources support and encourage the persistence of these different animals throughout the country. At the top of the food chain is the jaguar, and as a keystone species, their persistence is critical for ecosystem balance. In southern Costa Rica, these magnificent creatures reside in two isolated populations, one in La Amistad International Peace Park in the Talamanca Mountains, and another in Corcovado National Park on the Osa Peninsula. Local habitat fragmentation isolates these populations by confining them to protected areas. Deforestation, agricultural expansion, and rapid human settlement have turned La Amistad and Corcovado into ecological islands, leading to jaguar genetic diversity decline, inbreeding, and limited available food sources. This habitat fragmentation forces jaguars to venture outside of these protected areas into human landscapes, where they risk coming into conflict with livestock and farmers. Well, as, as an apex predator, jaguar is extremely important for the Costa Rican ecosystem, especially remaining lowland forests. Um, they regulate prey species, so by eating peccary, they make sure that the peccary populations will become so big that they're eating all the seeds from the trees, for example. Because if you eat all the seeds from the trees, you don't get turned over to the forest, and that really limits what species will regrow over the long term. So they play a very important functional role in the ecosystem, but they're also just an emblematic species and really important to have around for things like tourism, things like uh, maintenance of protected areas and, and natural parks. Um, and they just provide a huge number of ecosystem services uh, sort of well above and beyond just the predation on other species. NASA Develop partnered with the Arizona Center for Nature Conservation and OSA Conservation to model optimal locations for the implementation of a Jaguar Corridor, which would reconnect these two isolated populations in southern Costa Rica. The Develop team used NASA Earth observations to assess trends in historical land use and land cover from 1987 to 1997. From these analyses, the team forecasted land use and land cover classifications to 2030 and used data including the projected 2030 land use map, elevation, slope, distance to roads, distance to settlements, and human population counts to identify human jaguar conflict risk areas. This land use trend analysis and risk projection informed a suitability assessment for the implementation of a wildlife corridor. These analyses can help the Arizona Center for Nature Conservation and OSA Conservation to conduct effective outreach, education, and fieldwork efforts in Costa Rica. One project they are currently working on is advocating for sustainable farming methods like growing jaguar-friendly coffee. Jaguar-friendly coffee is a product that's come up as one solution to helping jaguar cope with living around people. Um, we give people incentives who grow coffee not to do retaliatory hunting for a jaguar in case one of their livestock are killed. Um, in the case of coffee, more than anything, we're trying to produce coffee that benefits the people by producing more income for them, at the same time giving jaguar an opportunity to move through that habitat. Corridors act like two-edged swords by aiding to prioritize restoration efforts to promote wildlife-friendly agriculture while connecting isolated jaguar populations. With the establishment of corridors, the jaguar has a greater chance at survival in this ever-changing landscape.